Okay, we're ready for the rinsing process now. Or the washing process, I should say. So, I'm going to use this brush. And uh, this really helps to, to get them clean. And uh, you can see here how gooey and grimy they really are. They really look bad. But that's going to change real fast. So I've got about a... I've got 170 walnuts in here right now. Put a little bit more water in here. And that's going to be about good enough. And I'm just going to take my brush and start going back and forth. Back and forth, swirling around. Knock the uh, major gunk off of them. I don't know if you can hear in the camera too well, but the sound of these walnuts against the metal sink is more of a dull sound. And as they get clean, it'll sound more higher pitched. So we're going to do this three times. After three times, they're going to be pretty darn clean. first rinse gets most of the major gunk off of them. Keep going back and forth, back and forth. Swirl them around. So not only does the brush brush action against them, get them clean, but also the abrasive action of the nuts against themselves. That also helps a lot. I know a lot of people um, on farms and stuff, they have machines to do this. They put them in big barrels or even um, cement mixers and do it, but I don't have one of those, so I do it this way. And it's fairly quick and fairly easy. So I can already tell that the sound of these is getting higher pitched. I can already hear that. Feel that sludge building up? And as that sludge or that uh, gunk comes off the nuts, they'll even move around quicker. take out. I'm going to put them in this other sink and the second rinse I'll do them in the same sink because this other one tends to clog up too easily. On the third rinse I'll do them in this sink. I'll make sure I get them all out of there. I had a walnut go down my drain last year and I uh, had to take the pipe off to get the nut out of there. Coffee. Nothing like coffee and walnuts. I've got a total of 340 walnuts here, roughly. And uh, after I'm done cleaning them, I'll show you how I hang them. Okay, I'm back in for the second rinse now. On this second rinse, that they really start to get clean, noticeably clean. And you can see, this doesn't really take that long. It should be about enough water.
these are already starting to get fairly clean. sure you wear old clothes clothes that you don't mind getting stained up just about ready for the third washing here so these are getting really nice and clean Walnuts are from a tree uh, where I got a little over 2,000 off of one tree. 2,000 nuts off of one tree. Okay. Getting, getting nice and clean. See there? Okay, we're just about ready for the third rinsing. It's getting pretty clean now. sink out here because I'm going to fill it back up and we're going to look for floaters here in just a minute. Ok, 
Okay, those are clean enough. We're gonna look for floaters now because the floaters don't have any meat in them. There's one. So they don't have any meat in them. I don't want to mess with them. Almost overflowing. Huh? There's one. Too much water. Few more to go. There's a floater. And that's it. So we had four floaters out of that batch. Not bad. So we're done cleaning. So I'm just going to put them back in the sink here and let them drain before I bag them. And uh, show you how I bag them here in just a minute. 